All right, welcome back to Otsunami Snacks and Chats. I'm Chris. And I'm Leticia. And today we're eating Icebox. Yay! Grapefruit flavor. Grapefruit flavor. Yeah. It's literally little cubes of grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice. Really, really tasty, really cheap. Super refreshing. Yeah, especially in that heat. How much did we get today? Which is what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. Summer in Japan. Uh, it's been really brutal lately. It has hit 40 degrees Celsius today in Kyoto, yeah. which is 104 for those in America. Yeah, that's a lot. We're, yeah. we're, we're surviving. And I don't know if we're thriving. I don't know if we can go that far uh, No, yet. I wouldn't go that far. We're, 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 we're here. We're, we're getting we're there. Here. We're trying to function. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But when you live in Japan, especially Kyoto in the summer, how do you survive the heat? The easiest answer is don't. Don't, yeah. Just stay inside where there's air conditioning. Yes. Oh, but air conditioning. if you spend however much money to come to Japan, you're probably going to want to go a little further than your hotel room lobby. Yeah. So we have actually a couple of hacks and things you can use that are actually fairly cheap. Yep. And that you can buy directly when you came off the plane from the drugstore, even at the airport, I think. Mm -hmm. That could help you actually enjoy your stay in Japan while still sweating. But you know, Apparently it's good for you. So. Hmm. so yeah, first small would be probably you have one today. Yes. Towels. Yeah. It's not that weird to walk around with a towel in Japan in the summer. So no. just really get not. a nice cute hand towel. There are, even make some that you can like get wet and throw yeah. in the freezer. Exactly. Well, in the just in the fridge, I think. Oh. Right. Yeah. So you 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 cool them down, then you put them around your neck. I did stop using that though because it would drip everywhere. And I was like, eh, that's like a little bit like on top of the sweat I get drip on my towel. Yeah, which can be a problem too because it's very humid here. Oh yeah, the humidity. Um, so <laughs> if you like, it's like, yeah, I'll just like jump in the river and it'll dry off because it's 100 degrees out. No. No, you'll no. just be wet and hot and miserable. Exactly, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it, it sucks. But you can get a nice cooling neck so they're like, they look like a necklace. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um, they're made out of like rubber. Rubber or like silicone. So Plastic, you just yeah. basically throw that ring into your freezer at your hotel, pop that around your neck, and then you're good for a couple hours, mm -hmm. which is pretty nice. They look pretty neat, very discreet. Yeah, they're pretty fashionable, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're also um, fans that have like kind of the same yeah. form factor. You would just wear them around your neck. Yeah, you have the mini fan you can hold. I mean, we have those also, I feel like, in America and Europe. Uh, or you have the good old vest that has fans in it. Those are really Very cool. Japanese. So, yeah, yep. definitely. Another big one is, like, body wipes uh, yes. in the store that are made to cool you down. They can dry out your skin a little bit, yeah. but they're fine. They're they're pretty they're pretty good, yeah. But, mm -hmm. Yes, for dry skin and sensitive skin people. Uh, to avoid, but I mean, or just use a parasol. Yeah, a lot of people use them in Japan. It works. Yeah, and they have a lot of them. Really cool, really fashionable. Yep. That you could use. So if you don't mind, like me, I hate it, but carrying an extra piece of something with you, yeah, just buy yourself a nice parasol and enjoy your best life in Japan. Yep. But until next time, we hope that helps you survive the summer heat in Japan or wherever you are. Until next time, stay hungry, stay foolish. Cool.